Today, we are building this app. It's a to-do list web application written in React. We're also going to host this locally in a Docker container, and we're gonna do this by vibe coding. That is, when we ask an AI to create the entire application for us without actually diving into any of the code ourselves. We're going purely based on the look, feel, and vibes of the project. Now, let's jump into it. For our vibe coding session today, we're going to be using Google Gemini. So head over to gemini.google.com. I'm going to use 2.5 Flash and make sure you have the canvas option enabled. We're going to give it our prompt. So we want a minimal to-do list application. It's going to go away, have a little bit of a think. Now on the left hand side, you're going to get all of the reasoning and logic. And then on the right, you're going to get an actual preview of the code base and a rendered output of the final product. Here we have our to-do list application. We're going to add a couple of tasks. As we can see, it works, but it could be a lot better. Now I've actually found a to-do list application that I kind of like the look and feel of. So I'm going to ask Gemini to replicate that same layout. So it got a little bit better, but here I'm asking it to get very specific with the image I uploaded. I want each individual item to match what I gave it. It's done an okay job. It's recognized as a checkbox on the side and added the time. So now I'm gonna make a couple of minor tweaks. Three very minor changes. So we're going to change the box to a circle where we tick the item off, which it's correctly done. We've removed the 12 p.m. time slot and we've updated the icon to be a trash can. So when the circle is selected, I actually want it to be like a green tick. Can get to a green tick. it still hasn't quite got it right. So I'm gonna prompt it the third time to try and get this green tick just the way I want it. Our AI is being a little dumb. It's still not getting the tick completely right. So I'm just going to really help it by giving it exactly what I want. Here's a website where I can set the colors and just copy the outputted code. I think we're using just raw HTML. So I'm going to copy this and just can you use this instead for the check mark with a couple of spelling mistakes in there, but it knows what I mean. Let's see what it comes back with now. Much better. Now that wasn't the AI being smart. I had to literally force feed it exactly what I wanted, but it's looking a lot better. Next up, I want to change this delete icon. I want it to be gray, visible at all times. When hovered over, I want it to change from gray to red. And no border. There we have the gray icon. Click it, it deletes, which is good. That's looking pretty good. Now, I do want to use a bit more of a minimalistic icon. Let's see what it comes back with. Will I have to get more specific? Uh, that looks exactly the same. Um, that's looking good. We're gonna make a couple of minor changes to the titles. That's looking very good. We've got the basic functionality down pat with some minor UI changes that we made. Now we're going to make some really fundamental changes to this application and we're going to see how Gemini handles that. We're going to update this app to allow scheduling of tasks for future dates. That means we're going to need a calendar and we're going to have to keep track of the dates we assign the tasks to.
We've now got a calendar and we can select different days and assign tasks for each day. So let's go 20th. Cool, that is looking good. Again, let's make some minor improvements. So we want to be able to switch between different months. So we're going to add some icons here. So make the following changes to the calendar. So three very minor things. We're going to let the user switch between the months. We're going to add a little dot indicator when a task has been assigned to a day. And we're just going to make the calendar a little smaller. That's looking good. Again, I just want this calendar view to be a little bit smaller and stand out a bit. Again, make the calendar view a bit smaller. Maybe wrap it within a card layout. That's looking a lot better. I like this. All right, so let's go test. Test two and test three. We'll tick it off. We now have our fully functioning to-do list application up and running and we haven't had to write a single line of code. Now on to the second part, which is hosting this locally. We're going to see if Gemini can give us the instructions to put this in a Docker container and run the web server locally ourselves. <clears throat> All right, it's given us some instructions. To begin, it wants us to save everything in a file called index.html. So we're gonna go back and open our to-do list application. We're gonna go to code and we're going to copy all of this. I'm gonna quickly create a new folder. So I go to documents. I'm gonna create an index.html file and paste everything in there. Save the file. We're gonna scroll down and we're gonna open up our instructions. Now we need to create another file called a docker file and we're going to copy all of this. So I'm gonna run nano docker file to create that and we're going to paste all of the contents in. We're gonna run the command it gave us to build the actual container and we're gonna run that final command to run the actual container and fingers crossed we will see I'm gonna give it a different name because I think previously I'd tried this already. I think I was mucking around and I've already used that port, so I'm just gonna to switch to 8082. Yeah. And same with the container name. I can see our to-do list application up and running and it's on port 8082. So if I open up a new tab and I go to localhost 8082, we have our to-do list application up and running. Let's just give it a test, create a couple of tests. This is incredible. In 20 minutes, we've built a fully functioning application, put it in a container and hosted it locally. This really excites me because I'm not a web developer. If I was to muck around and try and do this all on my own, this could easily take me days to do, which we've now done within 20 minutes. I find that absolutely fascinating. Now, I'll put a link to my public GitHub down below where you can access this exact application and all of the source code that we used within this video. So if you wanna run the exact same to-do list app yourself, you can. And if you wanted to vibe code your own application, it's really easy, completely free on Google Gemini using Canvas. Some things I did note, I've filmed this video multiple times now like this is probably my third or fourth attempt. I initially filmed it months ago, wasn't happy and refilmed today. Today's been really smooth where everything has pretty much just worked. Like you did see when I asked it to do things, it wouldn't quite get it right and I had to really help it along its way. In the previous ones that I did, I did hit certain roadblocks and I would have to start from scratch. <coughs> so it's not perfect. Like it would get 80% of the way there and then just completely fail and every time you started a new session, it would do something completely different. So while it worked flawlessly in this video, that hasn't been a consistent experience across the board, at least for me. But yeah, 
results may vary. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this vibe coding session. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.